to Cal Poly because the weather type, I have allergies real easily. So I can't really be in the sun and the season's changing too much. Here it's mostly just cold. Yeah, you see the weather changing and stuff, but I prefer like more cold and nature outside. I was excited to be in Arcata, but then I realized how small it is and I was like, damn, this isn't like LA anymore, not a huge city where I could walk for 10 miles and I could find something new every time. Here, I've been to mostly every place. I got to the area by the job. I um, met more people and also classes, mostly general ed classes like film, music, um, psychology class, which was pretty awesome. So I got used to it, made a lot of friends. My freshman year, I lived on campus. I lived in Sunset, first floor, and I saw my RA and I was like, hey, how do you become an RA? And she told me about the applications. And I was like, kind of shadowed her one day. And I was like, ooh, this is something I like. It seems easy, easy way to communicate with people, easy way to make friends and hear about the events that are occurring around campus. So NRA is like a mentor type of thing. We are here 24 seven for you guys. If you have a question about class, work, or resources on campus, we tell you where they are and where to go and how to get there. And we just show you what's around the community. I need to be willing to help whichever resident comes to me. I can't just say, I'm not your RA. You can't, I can't help you. So I need to be available for anyone who needs my help. I've been in RA for a year and a half. Um, next year I applied again, so it'll be two years and a half. I'm mostly in RA for freshmen. So I remember being in their spot and being lost and being scared for, to ask for help. So I know the faces of the scared freshmen. So if I see someone, I'll be like, hey, how are you doing? Start a little conversation. And eventually they open up. When a resident doesn't want to directly come to me for help, I send like an email to my whole floor saying, hey guys, this is a great opportunity if you're interested. Maybe they're struggling with reading and there's like a reading club. I could be like, hey guys, there's this reading club meeting like Wednesdays and Fridays from like two to five. And I just send the information and then it's up to them if they want to go or not. There has been a few times, about three times where I wanted to stop. It wasn't because the job or anything. It was mostly because some situations were too hard for me to handle. Like I didn't know how to talk to this resident because I've never been through it, I couldn't relate. And I had to like refer them to another RA who could possibly help them or refer them to resources because I wasn't capable of feeling their emotions. The females here, the 15 females I am living with currently, they're just amazing, they're freshmen. Some of them are STEM majors, biology. They're really cool, I love the community. Once a month, the RAs, but we have to make an event for residents and we also have to do a passive. And a passive is when we create a poster of information that residents might find helpful. So April 30th, there will be a game, Squid Game, from 12 to 5. Um, you have to register. We're going to give you like a sticker with the number saying you're number 51 or something. And the first game is red light, green light. And if you lose, we're going to squirt you with water <laughs> and you're out. Then the last game is the Oreo challenge where you have to split the Oreo and it has to be perfectly one side clean and whoever wins gets a big prize. Spring preview, I did it two Fridays, and it was mostly incoming transfer students that are coming from a community college. I had to show them around campus, showing them the rooms, and then they would be like, so I'm a psychology major, do you recommend me living in Cyprus, College Creek, where? And I'm like, well, if you're a psych major, I would recommend Cyprus, because it's like right on the corner, but if you are something with marine biology, I would recommend College Creek, so it's just mostly showing them how far their classes are from their dorms. The first time I became an RA, it was kind of hard to balance my life because I live in school, I go to school, you know, my classes are here and I live on campus. So my life was kind of just smushed in one little area and I felt like claustrophobic because I couldn't go like where I didn't feel like I was in school. But at one point I was like, okay, Friday, I don't have classes, Friday through Sunday, I just leave campus completely and I don't come back for at least two days because I need to like refresh myself from the whole situation of like living and working and just campus in general. If someone was applying to Cal Poly Humboldt, first thing I would say is make sure you do your research, make sure you're a person who loves nature and the outdoors. Humboldt was like the worst place for me because I had no friends, no family. But eventually, after the years, I would say I made friends, friends that I could consider as a brother and sister. We play fight, we hang out 24-7, we do sleepovers, and at one point, I felt like I had my own family, and I felt like I had a home here.